This is your life. It looks pretty full, doesn't it? Well, that's because it is. It's full of all the things you'd be incomplete without. Love, family, food, water, health, your parents, your passions. With all of these things, you could have nothing else and still lead a full life. But even with all of this, you'll still have some space to fit more things. Smaller things. This is your job, your car, your house, money. Things that are still important. But if you took them all away, your life would still be full. If you're watching this video, that means you're lucky enough to have at least some of these things. But if you're really lucky, and many of us are, you'll still have some space left over. These are the really small things. Watching a movie, playing a video game, sports, ice cream. Things that make your life that little bit nicer, but things that are really just trivial in the end. If you wanted, you could try to put these things first. Wasting your time in front of the television, or the computer, playing games, or whatever it might be. You could follow it up with the material things. Money, cars, houses, clothes. But then when it comes time to try to fit in all the important things, you run out of space. Some things will have to be left out. And nobody wants that. So keep that in mind as you go through life. Put the really important things first, and then find space for the rest. If you run out, it really won't matter anyways. It's just the small stuff. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. This is Jeremiah J. Mamadero with J. Mamadero. He's coming to you live and direct from the global headquarters here in The Rock. That's right. The Rock is in the building. Uh, we were away in Michigan this week. It's good to be back home. We love all our Michigan realtors. Hopefully, we have some of them on today. We got Billy P. from Billings. Billy from Billings. That's got a ring to it. I just realized that. We got our buddy, good buddy, Jeffrey Scott Stanton. Jeffrey, we're going to be back on this next Tuesday. I hope I was on the road this past week and uh, some other folks. So if you're watching this live, just put it in the comments where you're watching it from. Are you a first timer? Do you come every week and not say a word? Cause that's really cool too. Uh, some people don't even like to interact, even if it's just posting a comment and I understand it's okay. I'm here for you. Uh, but today we're talking about how to have your cake and eat it too. Uh, I did a live stream on Instagram yesterday, just kind of, to get some ideas going and some brainstorming. And uh, one of the things that kept coming up again and again is whether you're a new agent, whether you're an agent who's wrapping up your business or you're a veteran agent, all of us need help doing the most important things, right? Uh, I, I know so many agents when I talk to them and they're like, like, oh, how you doing? Uh, oh, my day, so busy, so busy, man. I'm so busy. What did you do? Uh, well, I'm showing houses later. <laughs> Dude, tell me about your busy day because they're spending all this time on doing all of the things that uh, don't really have an impact on their business or their quality of life because there's two parts to it, right? Uh, we, we always talk about the, well, we and everybody else. Hold on. Hello, Denise. And hello, Monica. Uh, we always talk about life balance, and really, it's like the pursuit of balance because I don't think you can ever be here. You're never going to be here. As work gets a little bit more, maybe that goes like this. But it's a, it's a never-ending battle to balance that between work and life because if work is doing well, I can promise you that your personal life is suffering. And if you're, if you're the best dad, the best parent, the best child, the best everything in your personal life, I can promise you that your work is suffering. Okay. And then somewhere in the middle is like, I love to volunteer and give back. Yeah. Well, most people need to do that when they're at the end of their careers or they have enough money to, that they want to just really start volunteering and making a difference in the world. You can do a little bit of both. And I understand that as a millennial, uh, we do want to change the world every single day. Uh, but we also have to make money, right? Without revenue, your business ceases to exist. So here's my first task that I'm going to give you right now, right now, because um, it's Friday. 
And you could start this today. You could start this on Monday. However much you, you know, it's up to you. I would say start it today. F, you know, <laughs> I almost dropped the F-bomb. Uh, forget that. Just start it today. And this is going to be whether you're going to use a piece of paper, a uh, post-it note. Um, the legal pads are pretty good. Or do it, do something digitally. I want you to start logging everything you do throughout your work day. Okay? I'm say that again. Everything that you do throughout your work day. So you determine what your work day looks like. It can be from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock. It could be from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. It could be from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. because you like to sleep in or whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You decide what your work day is. You are the owner of your own business. Okay? And I want you to, and this is going to be painful to do because it's like quite literally every time you do something, you're going to then write it down. Okay, from 8 to 8.30, I did this. Uh, from 9 to 9.30, I did this. From 10 to... You log everything for one whole week. Here's the first thing that's going to happen that's going to make a difference in your business. You're going to stop wasting time because you're logging your time, right? And, and accountability is huge. You can, you can share this with me if you want. You can share this with an accountability partner that you might have in your office or not in your office, somebody you met at a state meeting, whatever it is, find somebody, okay? Because the true test of your character is how you, you work when nobody else is looking, right? So if you want to lie on your own journal and say, oh, I did uh, prospecting today from, <laughs> from 10 to 12. Well, you ain't do that, okay? You send a couple postcards for five minutes and then you hopped on the social for another 90, right? So this is what I want you to do. I want you to do that, number one. Number two, share it with somebody. But here I'm going to try to share my screen. Just give you an idea first. Boom. Yeah, that's my calendar. Boy, that's next week looking red. That's all. Um, yeah, that's seminars related stuff. But let me go back over here. So I have two different. I like to use Google Keep. It's simple. It's easy. And, um, and this is just for a visual example. Okay, I got that. So if you saw the video in the beginning that I played, fantastic, right? Because it talks about putting the most important things first. If you put the most important things first, then you schedule the next, you know, the things that are nice to have. And then the last little bit, the little, little, little itty bitsy pebbles, uh, we're talking about the, the things that are uh, fun to do or have like ice cream. I think I would put ice cream first in that example, but uh, putting the most important things first allows you to do the other things, and that's what we're not doing in our business. So let me just make this a little bigger. And I just, this is an imaginary uh, log of somebody's workday, right? Because I'm like, I'd rather if I'm talking about it, I'm going to tie it in with a visual for you uh, so that you could say, hey, from 9 to 9.30, you watch J-Man's uh, 18 Friday. That's a good use of your time. You know why? That's education. That's knowledge. That's something that you can now immediately apply to your business and make a difference. Okay. But before that, uh, maybe your workday hadn't started, depending on where you are. I know we have some people, uh, central and mountain time where it is pretty early for you. And I understand. I understand. But see, 8 to 8.30, <clears throat> made coffee. Coffee. <laughs> coffee. That's how my coffee be. Uh, and then 8.30 to 9, answered emails. 9 to 9.10, man, I was scrolling on IG and I was like, I, I, this reel is pretty cool. I want to make, I got an idea for a reel. And I do that. You know why? Because it's fun. And I do that first. And then from 10 to 10.45, oh man, J-Man said in his thing that we got to have better thumbnails. My thumbnails suck on my, on my YouTube videos. I got to work on this. So I spent 45 minutes editing a YouTube thumbnail. And quite honestly, um, that's one of the things that I will be delegating because I do spend after this broadcast, I will download it, I will edit it, and then I will upload it to YouTube. And I'm really anal about my my uh, my thumbnails lately. And hopefully when I can find somebody young enough that looks at my thumbnails or maybe they're better at it than me because I don't believe that I'm the best at it, uh, I'm going to pay them and they're going to do it. 
Oh, no, I'll be happy to, whatever that costs. Uh, 11 to 1230, I'm like, oh, I love volunteering. I have a committee meeting. Oh, it brings joy to my heart. Ooh, I'm volunteering, okay? And then from 1230 to 1 o'clock, I did committee meeting tasks. So right after you finish your meeting, you're like, okay, what am I to do? Okay, I got to send out the marketing flyer for the event that we're having. And then I got to contact the speaker and see if we can get a promo video. And then, and then, and then, and then. So really, the committee meeting that you had allotted this amount of time for, gives you extra work, which then you add to your schedule immediately after, uh, which has no impact on your business. Now, I'm gonna say, I don't want to say this. Not that it doesn't have any impact. It's that it's in a different way. You're building relationships. That's important, especially you know in real estate and having multiple offers in that. So when you're on the other side of a transaction with somebody, but without income producing activities, you won't be on the other side of a transaction with somebody because you ain't going to have no transactions. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm here to get you with this. Wake up. And then, man, I got to really spell check my sh stuff before I put it up here. Uh, book travel and hotel for the NAR conference. Hey, I'm going to the NAR conference. I'm going to spend at least an hour. I'm looking at the flights. I'm looking at the prices. Then I'm looking at the hotels. Then I'm saying, oh, where are the hotels? Where's the conference? Black hole. Hour wasted. Okay, then, oh my gosh, finally, 2.30 to 4.30, I showed houses. And then 4.45, I pick up the kids. And then 5 p.m., I write offers while the kids eat. Could this look like any of your days? Hit me with a yes, 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 because I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's most. Hold on. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to say anything to you guys comment to make sure that you can hear me. Number one. And is there anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else that you have in your day that can be a black hole? Just put it in the comments. Like what, what is your biggest time suck? Do you think, uh, right now, as far as your, your, your business is concerned? Because social media is definitely one of them, guys, right? We're entertained by social media. Social media is super addictive. Let me go back over here. I don't want to get the screen up. One of these days we are going to, there's a study that I read, and this isn't make up, made up. You know, sometimes I always go, well, 93% of all statistics are made up on the spot. No, there is a study that I read that the addiction to social media in or anything digital like that, it's just like a drug, right? Because if you did heroin, that, that releases um, morphine or a, a feeling of joyfulness. Is that the word I'm looking for? I never did heroin, but I'm just trying to guess here. So when you, when you go online, you go on a social media, oh, I have a notification. What is it? Oh, Jeffrey liked my post. That releases dopamine which makes me happy okay we generally have a feeling like we would we thrive to we want to be happy we have a need to be happy so the addiction comes from i i haven't checked my social in a while does anybody like me is anybody going to give me in, any dopamine oh 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 there's some more okay and that's why we do it and it's easy and it's fun right euphoria is the word you're looking for thank you tiffany um i don't want to know why you you knew that but thank you thank you for that uh let's see i'm gonna bring this up euphoria dopamine yeah i said dopamine dopamine euphoria research spreadsheets oh my wife is listening oh my gosh i better be on my best behavior yeah right uh so anything online social media etc yep i would agree with that do 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 okay now coming over you start logging this stuff. And here's, the, again, I'm gonna come over here and I go, here's things to do. And I, I, this is an imaginary list that I made up today. Um, I'm gonna move myself over so that. And this is what Google Keep looks like if you guys have never seen Google Keep. Hold on one second. I'm gonna move myself to this corner so that we can have a better, okay. So let's go through this list. This is all 
believable for most of you, right? Send a contract to an attorney. If you don't have an attorney in your state, you're going to send it to the title company or the mortgage company or whoever that is, right? Uh, make videos for BombBomb. Many of you have said uh, every time I see you, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it eventually someday. Okay, make videos for BombBomb. Number three, schedule showings. Four, write offer. Five, organize desk. Six, clean car. And some of these things won't be on your things to do, but it'll be on the things to get done. Am I right? You get to the office, you're like, oh, my desk is in shambles. 35 minutes later, your desk is organized, but you didn't really do anything related to your business. Uh, clean the car. Meet with seller about offers, show houses, pick up kids, take kids to sports, engage on social media. And what I mean by that is you should, this should be part of your thing. So like you go on social media and you engage with your sphere, with people that are having things going on in their life. You comment, you message, all of that's engaging with your sphere. Um, you're not just, it's not just doing a post and then not going back to social media, right? It could be you scroll your story. You give people like high fives. You give them, man, 100, great job on something that they said or did in their story. Like that's connecting, that's building rapport, that's having relationships. That's what, that, what you want to do on social media. It's not just, I just sold a house, everybody. Oh my gosh, look at, I'm gonna, I got my coffee cup. This is coffees for closers. Ah, And then the last one, reply back to emails. So let's go through this list and I want you, as I'm going through it, to tell me do, 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 do. ADHD is my black hole. That's that is funny. Google Keep is fire. Thank you, Rachel. And Denise says so true. So let's go through this list. And I want you, I know it's going to be a little bit of a delay, but let's go through. I want you to give me, there's three different priority levels here. A means it has to get done. Okay. A has to get done. B, we would like for it to get done. C, if it doesn't ever get done, it's okay. Okay? So let's go through here. Hold on, I got to hit got it because it's going to bother me. Always giving me suggestions, Google. Okay. So send a contract to the attorney. Why is that? Oh, the attorney. Is it an A priority? Jennifer Stevens says it was right offer. Okay. Yes, that is an A priority. Agreed. What other A priorities do we see on here? That you yourself as an expert in real estate, as a high level executive, somebody who's the chief, the CEO of your company, what else do I do? I have to do, only me. Anything else on this list? Give me the A's first, just put it in the comments. Uh, cleaning my desk and car never get done. <laughs> Okay, Billy, that's, so those are D's. Well, we're going to make them C's, right? So C, organize desk, D. I can go into an office and I can usually see who the busiest agents are. You know why? Because their agent, their, their desks are usually just wrecked because they don't got time for that. They're busy writing contracts, especially when we were in a, a more paperful uh, real estate environment. Show houses, yes. So show houses, we have. Uh, we're going to make that an A priority because that's something you're the expert. You need to do that. Agreed. Uh, what else? Pick up kids. Probably you got to do that. Or if you're your spouse, right, you guys can, can tag team uh, depending on who it is. Say, okay, I got to pick up the kids or somebody in my family has to pick up the kids. And um, Christina's going to see Christina's on here putting me on blast. Cleaning my car is definitely an A for me. And here's one of the things that I'm going to say. If one of these tasks brings you joy or helps you to feel less stress, then it's an A priority. For me, I like to have my car clean. Like I get my car clean and then I'll vacuum it out so that everything's organized. And if at any point I'm talking to a client in front of a house, they're going to judge you, man. If they look in your car and your car is in shambles or it looks like you live in your car, they're like, man, they're going to think the whole real estate transaction is going to be a mess. Okay, I promise you. They may not tell you, but that's definitely going to be the case. All right, so uh, what else do we have here? Take kids to sports. Yeah, I guess that could be an A. And reply back to emails. Anything else here absolutely that you have to do? Mm -mm 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 -mm. They're all A, but they can be done. At, they can't all be done at the same time. 
Do they still must be? Yeah, so they must be. I don't think they're all A. So let me say that, Denise. Um, pick up kids and take them to sports might get me in jail. I don't have kids. <laughs> True. Yes, uh, Tiffany, don't pick up other people's kids. That would be frowned upon um, unless, you know, uh, they're, they're friends of the family or, or, or something. <laughs> so freaking funny, these guys. Okay, here's here's what my thoughts are. So send contract to the, to the attorney. Yes, this is an A because it has to be done. Make videos for Bomb Bomb. That's going to be a B for me uh, because I'd like for it to get done, but if it doesn't get done today, it's not the end of the world. It's something that could be pushed till tomorrow. Schedule the showings are also going to be an A. Okay, we go down. Meet with seller about offers. That's going to be an A. Anything that requires your expertise, right? They hired you to do something. You're the one that should be doing it. Uh, a, meet with seller about offers. A, show houses. A, pick up kids. Engage on social media. Um, I'm going to do it as a B. It should be something you do every day. However, and this is where, where things get, because you're like, no, no, no. You said I have to. And so that's the first thing that you do, and it is the black hole. You go in there, you start engaging, and then you're like, oh, my God, look at the video of this dog. Oh, this is so cute. And then two hours go by. You don't even know where you were. Okay, it's crazy. Uh, so we'll make that a B. And then reply back to emails. I'm going to say this is a B, but you have to be able to sort through your emails and decide what's important and what's, what's urgent and what's important. Those are two different things, right? Now, I'm then going to go th back through this list. And like uh, Denise said, I'm going to go through and I'm going to prioritize these things. A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. So I'm going to go, okay. Schedule showing, sometimes we need, let me say this, right offer probably would be a one, right? Um, a two might be meet with sellers. A three is scheduled the showings because I can't, if they're not scheduled, then I can't show them, right? Um, pick up kids is going to be at the end of the day. Oh, send contract to the attorney. That's going to be like a, a five. See where I'm going with this? I then am going to see what can I get somebody else to do? Who can I pay money to to take care of some of these A priorities? Send contract to the attorney. That is not something that you yourself need to do. It's not something that requires any high level of skill or expertise. So you then would go, go through and you're not going to really do this, but I'm telling you. Delegate. Okay. Um, schedule showings. Delegate. Right offer, delegate. How is it, yeah, pay a nanny to take care of the kids or pick up the kids? Absolutely, Denise, thank you. Um, but how can I ha delegate writing an offer? I'll wait. If you, and this is, depends on your state, your license activities, but I can if I have a licensed assistant or a team member, maybe maybe you have a, a new uh, agent in your office who wants to get better at writing offers. I don't know. Any number of ways you can, you can accomplish this, but you can call the licensed assistant and say, hey, uh, this is Jeremiah. So, right, because you can go from showing houses to one set of buyers to showing houses to the next set of buyers without having to open up your computer and take, I mean, I could do a whole offer roughly 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, but that's 30 to 45 minutes of my work day. If you can call somebody or text somebody or email somebody and say, hey, I need you to write an offer for the Smith family. Okay, they're in there. They're already contact. It's going to be a conventional offer. It's going to be 20% down. We're going to be offering full price, but we're doing an escalation clause of 5000 over the highest offer uh, with, with no cap. Uh, we're not going to do an inspection. We're going to do closing in 60 days, so on and so forth. They write the offer for you. Okay, you don't have to do it. See what I'm see where I'm going with this? Uh, showing the houses that could this could be delegated as well. Hold on, let me let me show you how this would be because there's agents throughout the country that have showing agents that show all of the houses, and then if you like something, they schedule a second showing depending on the market. Right, some of these markets you're not getting a second showing. Uh, but if they like something, and this is long-term strategy for when the market balances out, if they like something, then you, the expert, comes in for that second showing, gives them your your expertise and your opinion. Okay, 
pick up kids can be delegated or you can, you know, if it's a day where you're, you're doing income producing activities, you have more houses to see, um, you're going to go on a listing appointment. Maybe you can call the spouse, you can call a nanny, you can call a grandparent. Um, maybe that's something you even, don't even have to worry about because you don't have kids like, uh, like Tiffany. So don't go pick up other people's kids, take kids to sports, reply back to emails. Like all of this, um, this could be delegated. Maybe you, you talk to some of the other soccer parents and you're like, yo, let's, can we get some kind of carpool sitch together? Now you're freeing up that time. So it's not your carpool day. Instead of having to drive to soccer practice three times a week, now you're one time out of the three times. Um, reply back to emails. You could have your assistant filter through emails. And some of you are like, I don't want people looking at my emails. You got you to gotta let go. You have to let go of, of control for a minute because that's the issue with, with real estate agents everywhere. I've, I've spoken all over the world, and one common thing is true. We are control freaks, right? We want to say, no, no, no. I, I, Nobody could do it like me. Nobody. Nobody. You don't understand. I can reply back to an email like nobody's business. Come on, dude. Really? So they can filter through your emails for you, and then whatever's urgent, they can flag it as urgent. And then now, look at it. You only have to look at some of the emails. How great is that? Um, I, I know when I started implementing this, uh, you do want to tell the assistant to make sure that they leave the ones that are urgent that they flag, leave them unread. Because I'd go in and I'd be like, oh, I don't have any, any ones to check out. But it's because if they read them first, then it has it that it's already read and you might miss it. Okay. Um, Denise says, my husband says, I, I try to control everything. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, I, I'm not going to say that, you know, my wife might, might be the same way, but it is hard to let go. But here's the rule of thumb, because I believe that you are all very specialized and you're good at what you do. And are there things, certain things that nobody can do like you? Absolutely. But when you're talking about delegation, if, if they can do it 80% as good as you, 80% as good as you, then let them do it. Okay. Let go. This is so that you can really start spending time building your business, building your business. And then when you do when you're done with your income producing activities, you paid people to do the other things. Now you can go home and have quality of life. If you want to start to achieve some kind of a balance, that's what you have to do. Okay. That's what you have to do. And now what we've learned in the last, um, so Lauren has a question is, is confidentiality not an issue with that? Uh, what do you mean confidentiality in regards to the transaction or what are we referring to? Just hit me with another comment there and I can reply back. Oh, doo -doo -doo. I think you meant the emails, but I'll know in a moment. So here's the third tab that we're going to share with you. Um, and again, you can comment. I don't know if you comment VA stuff, but if you send the message, if you're watching this, you're on my Facebook page, right? On my Facebook page, if you hit send message in that message, you're going to, do just type VA stuff. That's going to auto reply with a one sheet with all of our virtual assistant information. Now you can get somebody to do a lot of these tasks, not the, the one, the stuff that's, you know, in person or licensee activities, licensed activities. Um, but starting here, this is a great place for you to start virtual assistant, virtual assistants, assistant.com. Okay. Uh, and what they do is they evaluate all of the VA options. You can have somebody from the Philippines or over overseas somewhere um, do so many of these tasks that you're wasting your time on for 4 to $8 an hour. If you went up to the $10 an hour mark, you could even have somebody uh, that speaks with an American accent because I know that some of you know some of you are concerned that, oh, well, if they're answering, you're not going to necessarily have them doing anything on the phone where they're talking, so you don't have to worry about an accent because I know some people don't like it when uh, they feel like the service is shipped overseas and, and all of that. If that's a concern, you could pay more and have somebody go, hi, this is Bill. How y'all doing today? And they're like, hey, Bill. Bill's in the Philippines. He just got a good, he's got a good old Texas accent. Okay? So you don't got to worry about that. Uh, Rachel, send, send the message in, in Messenger, not in the comments. I don't know if it'll work in the comments. I don't, I don't think I set up that, that uh, trigger yet. Um, Denise... Denise has, and Denise, I hear this over and over again. 
Uh, the time it takes me to explain it, I could have done it myself. Here's where you're wrong. No. Here's uh, how we can help you with that. You'd come in here, and let's just say for a moment, I was, I'm was i trying to give you a tutorial on how to navigate this website. I use this Chrome extension here. I don't know. It should work, even though I'm on sharing my screen. Uh, this is called Screencastify. It's a screen video recorder. Okay, I'm going to give it access to my microphone. Check, check, check. What's my default? I'm going to go to the better microphone. I'm going to embed my webcam. Okay, and then I'm going to hit record. Now, if I was trying to show somebody on my team or somebody, hold on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Jeremiah Jamin Monero. Here's a quick tutorial on how to navigate the virtual assistant assistance website. First of all, you can come in here and go to the VA categories, best virtual assistant companies, sort by VA location. Do I want them in Australia, Canada, India, Canada, <laughs> Philippines, UK? Hmm. All right, let's check out the Philippines. Okay, excellent. Over the past decade, the call center, and they have your options here. Here are some great, you have onlinejobs.ph, clear desk, free up, remote coworker. Here's the hourly rate, three to $8 an hour, $69 to post a job, $139 for 20 hours. So if, if you were looking to get an assistant, right? Right now, think of the process, or 10 years ago, think of the process, uh, because I got my, the other cameras embedded there. Let me stop this. Do, 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 do. Okay. So if, again, if that was a tutorial, I got I get into it. I was getting excited. It automatically takes that video that I just made because it's Screencastify Pro. I think it's like $39 a year or something. Um, this is worth the upgrade. It will take everything that I did there and then it syncs it to my Google Drive. And since I have an upgraded Google account, I have an unlimited Google Drive, and then from there, I can edit it, I can download it, I can do whatever I want, okay? Uh, so let me just go back over here to show you what I was showing you. Now, look, I mean, look at this. For me to, to figure out whether I can handle a virtual assistant or working with a virtual assistant or overcome my fears or get over myself, right? Like my shirt says, it's going to cost me 69 bucks. Or look at this one. A remote coworker. They've they've been around since 2013. Okay, 139 dollars for 20 hours. Some of you are spending that on a pair of shoes. Okay, so for 139 dollars, I can figure out whether it's for me or not. Ten years ago, you'd have to place an ad on Monster.com or a classified ad or something like that. You'd be bombarded with resumes. It's going to be really impossible for you to filter through. Then you finally hire somebody for 10 to 15 bucks an hour. Uh, that time that you spend training that person is time lost from production. And then you end up finding out that they're no good. <laughs> okay. So that think of the cost of that. That would have been here. You can figure that out. Um, but for you, who was it? Denise. So Denise, you record everything that you do. And while I'm recording it, I'm also going to voice over it. So if I was, if I was doing, okay, entering a listing, that's a big time suck for you guys. Um, if I was going to do entering a listing, I'm going to come back over to my regular screen. Hold on. So if I was doing something like entering a listing, as I entered the listing, I'm going to talk as if my mind was speaking out loud. I go, okay, first thing I do, uh, or CMA, right? Because you don't need to do your own CMAs either, or a home equity estimate, depending what you call them. So first thing I do when uh, doing a comparative market analysis is, I find my subject property. I then verify the subject property information. Okay, from there, I like to use the criteria uh, within two miles. If there isn't a criteria within two miles, if it's a similar market, we can go out, out to five miles. Uh, I then also like to use the same style home if it's available, right? If it's a ranch, I'd like to have other ranches. However, if there are no other ranches, I might also use a Cape Cod or something else that has a first floor bedroom that that buyer might also purchase, okay? And then I would just do in the voiceover with your, your rationale behind everything that you're doing. Now you have a video that somebody who you're training can go back and watch. And when you find 
somebody to be a virtual assistant, you could just find somebody to transcribe it. You say, watch this video, or you send them the video and they can transcribe it for you. Uh, you can use a service like uh, rev.com, rev.com. They will transcribe your videos for you. Um, and what they're doing is just writing down everything that you're saying because you don't want to do that either because that'd be a huge time suck. They transcribe the video for you. And now you, can, you have the, the beginnings of an operations manual. You have the beginnings of how you run your business so that you can bring in team member after team member after team member after assistant after team member. And you're going to create carbon copies of yourself because you have videos of how you do things and you have uh, a workbook that they can follow. I know. Hold on. What sound effect am I going to use? Yippee! Yeah. Let's do this one, too. Surprise! And then this one. You won! And then the last awesome! one. Awesome! All right, because I want you to start doing this. And I know that first step, that first step, and, and some of you are, are wondering, like, I don't know if I'm ready for an assistant. I And I use this, uh, we talked about this in the podcast with Jeffrey not too long ago. Like, think of everything that you can do in your day. I'm going to use my coffee. It's another visual example, right? My coffee is almost, I don't want to spill on my computer, but it's almost done. But if this, this was full, it's everything I can do every day. And my day is busy. My day is busy as I start moving around. What happens as I try to add more business to it? Some spills over the sides, right? That's business. That's lost business. That's where you're like, shit, did I forget to call that person back? Did I forget to do that CMA when I said I was going to? Oh my gosh, I'm supposed to write an offer. And if you find yourself in that position where you're, you're a little bit overwhelmed, you're not sure you know, if you're doing the right things every single day or you're, or you're wasting time on the wrong things, then you need an assistant. okay? Or uh, team up with somebody in the office. It doesn't have to be a formal team, right? You could just say, okay, me and you, uh, we're going to work together just or throughout our work days. You have your business, I have my business, but we hold each other accountable. Uh, and then we can share a virtual assistant give her tasks, give him tasks um, to do so that we can both be more productive, right? Team together, everyone achieves more. All right, do we have any other questions? Thanks, Denise. Thank you. Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome if you follow the rules. So that's going to be bringing us about to our time if you don't see. Oh, that's actually what my broker does. Okay, 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 okay. Um, your broker's pretty awesome then, but you have to think you work at a brokerage, but you also have your own business. So at the end of your days, and, when I, and I don't mean when you pass away, I mean at the end of your real estate days, cause you're not going to sell real estate your whole life. I don't want you to be 83 years old going, here's the kitchen, right? I want you to live a good life at some point. Um, and, and, and do some things that you wanted to do. But at the end of your days, if you have a manual and you have a book of business, you have something you can sell, right? And there's an exit strategy for you to say, hey, here's my business. I want a lump sum this amount. I'll sell it to you. Um, and then I want percentage of each referral that you get from, from my book of business for the next five years, right? There's a retirement strategy. We don't have real estate pension plans. Uh, oh, yeah. So thank you, Tiffany. So Tiffany answered uh, Lauren's question. Yeah, an NDA. Right. Oh, others going through emails. Yes. Sorry. I, I almost got to keep up with the feed here. Um, but see when, when I, we call her operations manager, but now she's, she's licensed. Um, and it's like, if you're going to bring somebody on, there has to be a certain level of trust, right? Quite honestly, when I have somebody that was doing a lot of these things for me, they know all of my passwords. They know all of my frequent flyer stuff. They know everything. They could easily take my identity tomorrow, okay? But it's it's a matter of trust. You got to at some point let somebody into your inner circle if you want to start building a business uh, based on trust, honesty, and, and really taking care of the client, right? You, you got to figure out what your mission statement is, vision statement, and uh, you know focus on that every single day. So do we see any other questions? Let's see. Lisa says, not everyone knows about that 
good old book. Thank God I was taught from the beginning by my broker. Um, the good old book. Good old book. I don't know what we're talking about. Okay. Uh, any other questions, folks? This is Jeremiah. This is J-Man Monero. J-Man Speaks. I'll stay on for just one more minute. Uh, we can answer, answer anything specifically for you. Oh, business. Okay, book of business. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you very much, everybody. We we have, we have Queens, we have Maryland, we have Long Island, we have Montana, and Manhattan. So I'm really oh, and Rochester, New York, of course. Oh, and Mississippi, and Tennessee, and New York. Okay. Well, we appreciate you guys. Listen, uh, we want to build this every single week. We want to get it bigger. So if you uh, know somebody that can benefit from this in, in your office. Tell them about it. If you want to share it, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, we're actually, we will then chop this up after we get off now. We'll trim off that the the countdown in the beginning, and that'll be on our YouTube channel uh, forever. Okay, youtube.com slash J-Man Speaks. So this is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. It's been